there guys, my name is Chantel, and for this video, I'm going to show you guys how to download, install, and launch the student edition of Active HDL. This version only comes with the basic design and verification tools that Active HDL offers, but this version is free to download and you don't need a license to access it. So to get started, the first thing you want to do is head over to Aldex's website. And from here, you're going to go to Products and go down to University Programs. From here, underneath the Free Active HDL Student Edition, you're going to click on the Active HDL Student Edition hyperlink. This should take you to the Student Editions page. And on this page, you can see some of the key features that it lists, as well as some Active HDL videos about some of the tools to get you familiarized with it. So now you're going to click on free download and you'll be led to this registration page. On this page, you want to fill out all the required information that's in this red asterisk. Once all the required information is filled out, you're going to click on register. Once you click on register, you should be led to this page and you should receive very soon, a download link in the email that you provided. So now in your emails, you should have received an email that looks like this. The title of the email should be Aldic Download Information, and it should have been sent by Aldic University Program. In this email, you should see that there is a link for the main installation file, as well as links to the FPGA vendor libraries. For this demonstration, I'm only going to download the main installation file. So I'll click on this link. And from here, I'm going to perform the CAPTCHA and then click on Submit. From here, the download should start. And once you're close to downloading, this warning should pop up. It should be okay, so just keep the file, go to Show More, and then just keep anyway. Now that the download is complete, make sure to just click on open file to get the main setup started. Once clicked, you should see that the 64-bit setup is preparing the install shield wizard and this whole window should be popping up welcoming us to the Active HDL installation wizard. So now we're just going to go through all the process, accept the terms of the license agreement, put in your username, as well as the company that you work for. University name works as well. From here, choose the destination folder of where you want the student edition to be installed, and then choose a folder of where your projects will be stored. On this page, you want to select the features that you want to install. I'm just going to click on the Vendor HDL Libraries and its sources. If you do that, you're going to see this note, and that's where those FPGA Vendor Library links will come in handy if you do want to use those. On this page, you want to select the file types you want to be registered by Active HDL. I'm just going to keep all of them selected by default. Here, you can review all your installation settings, and once you click Next, the installation should begin. After a bit of time, the installation should be completed. It's going through some final setup and registration process. And now you should see a pop-up wizard showing that it is complete and the installation was successful. I'm going to leave both of these checked and click on Finish. See that the release notes pops up. Now I'm going to go to my desktop and you could see that the shortcut for the student edition is there. I clicked on it to launch it, read and understand the pop-up and then click OK. And now we have our Active HDL Student Edition 
fully launched and working. So that concludes this video on how to download, install, and launch the student edition of ActiveHDL. Thank you for watching.